Hello, this is Mike Lively, and welcome to our new series on SQL Server Express 2008. Okay, so once again, welcome to uh, SQL uh, Server 2008. Uh, and this is not only just a great product, but it's a great teaching tool. Uh, there's going to be many uh, code examples. I'll maybe give you many uh, very close to the uh, project that you're working on. It's easy to do queries, and they have a ton of graphical tools, which allows you to drag and drop and make connections uh, in uh, relational databases uh, in the uh, SQL software, uh, Server 2008 software. And uh, there's extensive documentation, and you'll be installing something called uh, Online Books, which is actually better than the web. It's got tons and tons of information on that. So it's not just a great teaching tool, but a great learning tool. And uh, once you've learned uh, uh, this software, it's just really easy to do any type of RDBMS uh, that should come along. So what is an RDBMS? That's what a uh, the SQL Server is. The SQL Server is not a database. It's actually a database management software tool. So just like, you know, PHPMyAdmin, you could like have hundreds of databases that you're managing from that tool. Same thing here. And this tool actually has some nice tools for enabling you to actually create databases pretty rapidly. And so uh, just a little introduction here. Um, the good news is, is Express is free and it's full featured. So it's not like, you know, you're going to miss something that you actually need to create a database. This has got all the stuff in it. It is a great interface and has great documentation, as I mentioned earlier. It can be used for enterprise solutions. And so when I use the word enterprise, what I mean is it has the ability to scale up. You're going to create a database that um, has the ability to you know, go from 100 users to 1,000 users to uh, 10,000 users easily. And that's a whole new topic. I mean, just how you do that is, 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 is not necessarily easy. And uh, there's a video that I'll have you watch. Uh, I might send you some e-commerce notes that I, I, I use that eBay puts out, and you get an idea of how big these systems can actually get. Like I said, it's not a database, but a database management system, and that's we use the word RDBMS. Now, when we taught PHP in our last course, did we talk about relational databases? We had keys and, and secondary keys, for example. Did we talk about that in our last course? Relational databases. Yeah, okay, so you, this will be nothing new for you. You've seen it before, and you'll see it again. The emphasis of uh, the series that we're going through now will be on e-learning and e-commerce. Okay, those types of the databases we'll be looking at very rapidly. I mean, giving you a homework assignment, you should have that done in the next two weeks, and uh, then we'll start with the next topic. Okay. Um, uh, once again, uh, you have to remember, though, that a database is like a tattoo. And so once you get a tattoo, what happens? Can you change it tomorrow? No, it's it's really, uh, and there's a lot of people out there who have created databases, and they just start rolling, and the next thing they know, they've got 100,000 users in there, and they didn't do it right, and it's a nightmare to maintain. And then to add a column or row, you always need extra stuff, it can just be a real nightmare. So you want to make sure that you use good normalization, good database rules, and that you also um, do a lot of planning when you build your database. I would suggest, before you actually put the actual system out there, if it's going to be enterprise, that you do quite a bit of testing. All good stuff, and like I said, we've talked about databases before. Nothing new for you. So, uh, what's in this course? Well, we're going to take a look at um, SQL uh, 2008 Express. We're going to take download some example CodePlex uh, installation software, so it's going to allow you to have a, a number of example uh, software applications to look at. So, SQL Server 2008 itself does not come with uh, many databases. So, you, but you have uh, databases that actually Microsoft's put on the web that you can actually download as sample databases. I mean, it's terrible to sit down and try to develop your own sample databases, especially when you need not just 100 users, but maybe you need 10,000 users. And so these are the type of databases they have on the web where they have lots of users and it's good stuff to play around with. We're going to talk about the documentation. We're going to work with the tools. We're going to show you how to do queries in the database system. We're going to uh, compare uh, this database uh, management system, 2008, with MySQL. And we're going to, once again, look in RDBMS e-commerce, which you'll be doing this next two weeks. You'll actually be building your database. And we're going to talk a little bit about security and services. Okay? Now, we may not actually get all this in our lectures. I'll be putting all these videos up on the web for the next two weeks. So I'll expect you, and I should email you and say, hey, it's up, it's up, and have you start looking at them. So I don't want to, in a sense, let this be, because this could go on for eight weeks. It's not. I mean, you've got two weeks here to learn all this stuff, and then we're moving on. And uh, I've got to decide what we're going to pick up next time. I mean, we, we may actually be doing interface stuff next time with Flex and, and Android, and then we may be doing the in-between stuff, the Java stuff next after that. So I just want to make sure you get this, though, because it gets you well on your way to um, building your project. And the other thing, you need to start thinking mobile. 
everything is going mobile. All the jobs are out there are going mobile. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so uh, here's an RDBMS, and I think I have some comparison here. So this is on Wikipedia, so I'm going to go right there and show this to you. How many type systems are there like that out here? Ooh, you're going to be amazed. You know, we really talk about three of them, right? We'll talk about, you know, the, the ones that link to ASP and Java and PHP, but, you know, there's about three of those. But you know what? This just goes on and on. There are just like literally just um, a large variety of these type of um, database management systems out there. Let's take a look at a few. So this is just straight off of Wikipedia, and if you scroll down, you can start looking at all the different type of database systems or database management systems there are out there. And you probably heard a few of them. I, I saw FileMaker up there, and there should be Oracle around here somewhere. And you'll see terms like T-SQL, M-SQL, PL-SQL, like the Oracle SQL. So not only is there different databases, but there's also a different brand of SQL language that goes with each one of those database systems. So even though, so so this can be a problem because you might create a, a database in one system, export that SQL language, and try to... Um, get it to run in the other one, it won't. So typically either you have to, one, convert, there are converters out there that you pay for, or two, you're going to have to rewrite the database from scratch. And so that was one of the cases. I had a nice little database, a WordPress database I was working with because I like educational stuff, and uh, I tried to export there. Now there's a way to get around it, and there's lots of little finaglings, but eventually I just rebuilt the database and started over again because there are just so many differences between SQL and what's called TSQL, which is the Microsoft SQL. Um, but you know, from our perspective, no, this is not doesn't mean is doesn't is not as uh, much of an issue as it once was, because um, you got the cloud that you're working in now, and so that gives you the ability to work with anything, and that's pretty fantastic. And so for guys like me that have been, you know, in a sense, strapped by the technology, and the inability to move from server to server or type of database to type of database, that is no longer true. If I've got a front end system, I can link it to using Java, I can link it using ASP, I can link it using, you know, Microsoft, whatever. As long as I can link to any database system in the cloud that requires that language, and, and then I can do all my front end stuff in Flex or some some other software. So it's it's really turning into be a very rich and competitive environment. What are you gonna get with SQL Server 2008? Quite a bit of stuff. You're gonna get a database engine. You're gonna get analysis services. You're gonna get a, a way to plug in a SharePoint. You're gonna get reporting services. You're gonna get integration services, management tools, and documentation. So for that free download, you're getting quite a bit of stuff. You'll be pretty impressed, especially after doing PHP My Admin. And with that, uh, here's some examples I want to look at, but here's your homework assignment right here. This is what you're going to be doing over the weekend, or over the next two weeks. We're actually going to go and take a look at that here in a moment. And what our next step is going to be after that is we're going to have to install the SQL Server 2008 R2 Express. And that might be all we get to today and actually get you actually working with it and show you all the stuff you need to know. And then I'll be sending out videos on how to install the books online and how to get the CodePlex examples up, okay? Well, this was Mike Lively, and thanks for listening to this introduction to uh, SQL Server 2008. And next time, we're going to talk about your homework assignment.